Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past week in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. So this obviously looks pretty strange, I know. I moved on Friday and it is Monday. I am not finished getting my life situated just yet. I've got like my tripod sitting on top of this table, which is not my desk, it's a picnic table, but hey, that's, that's what we got to work with right now, so we're doing it. So thank you for bearing with the oddness of this video. Things will be back to normal. Well, as normal as they get for me, things will be back to usual on Monday. Tuesday? Downtime Tuesday. Tuesday. You get it. You get it. Let's get into the video. I think the biggest news of this week is that the WoW token will be going live on April 7th. The WoW token will start at 30,000 gold on North American, Latin American, Australian, and New Zealand servers. The token will cost 20 US dollars and obviously it can be sold in-game using a proprietary auction house tab. Now keep in mind, once the token has been sold, it cannot be sold again, it has to be redeemed. For more information about the WoW token, check out the links in the info below. The Dark Moon Fair is in town once again from April 5th through April 12th, and this time it is bringing with it three new games and three new prizes. Big Rocketeer Gold rewards the Race Mini Zep Battle Pet. Big Race Roadhog rewards the Checkered Flag Active Item that increases mounted speed by 30% for 10 minutes. It is soulbound and has 50 charges. Rocketeer Gold rewards an Everlasting Dark Moon Firework Toy. It probably goes without saying that there is a full guide to all of the Dark Moon Fair goodness in the links in the info below. The in-game holiday Noble Garden began on April 6th and will continue through April 13th. 2015 has a few new additions. The Mystical Spring Bouquet is a non-battle pet that costs 100 Noble Garden chocolates. There are also some new eggs which you can hide for your friends and guildies that will vendor from anywhere between 9 silver and 900 gold. And of course, there is all of the usual Noble Garden goodness. Now you're never gonna believe this, it's gonna come as a huge shock, but I've linked Wowhead's Guide to Noble Garden somewhere in or around this video. I'll give you a hint, I'm pointing to where it is. And what would Downtime Tuesday even be at this point without the most hilarious hotfixes of the week? First up, Mythic Blackhand got nerfed. If there's anything I've learned from the WoW forums, it's that PvE content is far too easy, and that everyone in the entire universe is just breezing through things like Mythic Blackhand, so Blizzard, what? <laughs> what were these nerfs even about? Mythic Blackhand, Schmythic Blackhand. Heirlooms level 91 to 100 got buffed. Now here's my thoughts on this situation. I always figured that the best part of heirloom gear was the increased experience, not so much the stats. But apparently, once people have spent literally like 5,000 gold per piece of gear, they expect their gear to be superior in all ways. So Blizzard, they answered you. And if you spent all that money for those 10 levels, that seems like a waste of money to me. And last but not least, the Shelford Chopper should no longer allow players to mount up while holding a flag or an orb. Now when I first read this hotfix, I thought, oh, that must look so funny, like somebody having a flag in their hand while riding around in their Shelford Chopper. But then, it all clicked, you know? They were talking about in PvP. Like people were picking up the flag in Warsong Gulch, getting in their Shelford Chopper, and being like, Winston, take me to the base! <laughs> That's hilarious! And of course, April Fool's Day was this week, and not only did Blizzard have a whole bunch of fun stuff, but Wowhead actually got in on it as well. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, reading the Wowhead April Fool's gags just made me sad. Like, why isn't BlizzCon actually an in-game event? That would be awesome. And they also talked about Snapchat integration with the selfie cam. I would use that. Why is that not a thing? Why aren't we funding this? Blizzard posted an entire set of fake patch notes for April Fools and they were hilarious. Let me talk about some of my favorite points. 50 Shades of Looting was like the best thing I've ever seen in my life. The Walking Dead references everywhere. Player mages will never be as cool as Khadgar. One word, meat squatch. 
Cooking profession nods at chopped and no frying in Draenor. Warlock's Cataclysm spell has finally updated to Warlords of Draenor. Players who literally can't even should be able to literally even again. Now the April Fool's notes were super long so I can't go through all of them here but I highly recommend reading them if you have not already and of course I have them linked conveniently in the information below this video. And that leads us right into our question of the week which is what was your favorite WoW or Blizzard related April Fool's gag? Let me know in the comment section below and while you think about your answer check out our answers to last week's question. And that's it for this week's Downtime Tuesday. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumb it up, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and answer our question in the comment section below. Just a reminder, I will be invading Wowhead Weekly starting this week at 3 p.m. Pacific time at twitch.tv slash wowhead, so be sure to check that out. There will also be a VOD at youtube.com slash wowhead like on Saturday, pending that I do things in a timely fashion. I hope that you will tune in next Tuesday and every Tuesday for future episodes of Downtime Tuesday because Tuesday, I'm getting really good at intros, don't you think? Except this is an outro, not an intro. Gosh darn it, I was doing so well. I'm gonna go. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my heart, so I'll see you soon. Goodbye. I don't have my remote. I have to get up to turn off the camera now, so goodbye. Goodbye. Ah! Oh, I just, I just touched the camera with my body. Ah! So please don't think that this is going to be how videos are from here on out. They're going to be much worse. I'm kidding. I'm going to work on it, okay? I'm going to try to get everything situated by the end of the week. Words are hard. Usually my videos are subpar. This is sub subpar. Can't help but giggle anytime the alliance is at any sort of disadvantage because <laughs> Lactaro Gar. That was a perfect take and somebody honked their horn. I will come out there and I will destroy you.